Hi, I'm Blake Lively. This is the beautiful medium-sized palace I share with my husband, the actor Ryan Reynolds. Today, I'll be joined by esteemed writer and cultural critic Rose Damio. The live audience is going wild. They're going completely mad. Tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do. Who I am and what I do. Well, you called me a cultural critic, which, love that for me. Uh, I am a staff writer at Out Magazine. You might have heard of it. <laughs> I write mostly about culture and entertainment, and what I'm really interested in is taking a look at pop culture from a queer perspective. I'm also a semi-retired party girl, mm -hmm. and a semi-retired international party girl. Wow. Yeah, my passport has a few stamps in it. Oh, actually now it has no stamps because I just got a new one. Okay. So now we need a couple more stamps. But formerly international party girl like Diplo? Yes, <laughs> Diplo, Diplo and I have a lot in common. Yeah. What does community look like or feel like to you and how do you build that or how do you feel that community is built around you? I used to think that community was literally about getting a bunch of people in one space together. And I guess that's sort of how nightlife operates, yeah. right? Um, we have this because queer people have often had to find community outside of traditional avenues. And that's why nightlife is really a sacred community space for a lot of queer people. And for so for a long time, I really felt like parties specifically were mm -hmm. a place to build queer nightlife. Now that I'm a little older, now that I'm not throwing parties anymore, I don't necessarily always think that because I think that a lot of nightlife is about facilitating the sale of alcohol and I don't know how queer that is. I don't know what kind of community that builds. So now the kind of community I'm more interested in is the people in my life who I can connect to outside of nightlife spaces, like in the daytime. Yeah. And I mean, in the daytime, not after 15 hours of partying when yeah. we're all looking <laughs> a little busted. And community is, you know, the internet has really revolutionized queer community because people are able to connect with um, people all over the world and realize that they're not the only ones. Yeah. Um, and community to me is also the people I work with, um, the people that I share ideas with, I don't know, I think a big part of being queer is realizing that there's something about you that the world has decided that fundamentally sets you apart from the mainstream and you decide to own that and turn that right. into a way that you identify. Right. And that is something that brings queer people together. So how do you, what does it look like for you when you're celebrating your difference, when you're sort of putting that front and center a lot of selfies. Being able to say what I want to say without feeling like people are going to judge me for it or like I'm going to get canceled. Being my like authentic self is, uh, I, I'm very lucky in that I work, you know, for a queer magazine and I get to interact both socially and professionally, mostly with queer people. I think the idea of like safe space is not really real, but that is one of the ways in which I, I think that I'm able to feel like I'm in a safer space. Right. I think it's great that you're vocal and visible. I am, I am definitely vocal, <laughs> I'm definitely visible. Well, I think that a lot about in the context of being a journalist, I get yeah. to amplify a lot of queer voices and get to use the, like the small platform that I have, the larger platform that OUT has to kind of spotlight uh, queer people who are doing exciting things. And for a long time, I traveled a lot and got to see uh, smaller queer communities right. um, in places around the world. And that was really exciting to me and something I'd love to do more of. It's really interesting to see how um, those kinds of communities often crop up in the places where people need them the most. You know, we obviously think a lot about how, you know, big metropolitan cities like New York and LA and like Berlin um, have these really thriving queer scenes. But when you go to, you know, pockets of the South, um, there are like places like New Orleans. There are these really amazing, thriving queer communities that people have created because they need them. One thing or the other, um, I'm really bad at making decisions. Okay, so. well that's gonna be so fun. <laughs> yeah, I can never decide what to order on Seamless. Some of these you will get. Okay. Iced or hot? Iced. Yeah. 
Paper Obviously. or plastic? Paper. Beach or slopes? Beach. Twitter or Instagram? They're both evil. That's my answer. <laughs> um, silver or gold? Silver, I'm cool toned. Sandwich or salad? Sandwich. Kombucha or death? One leads to the other. Uh, sneakers or heels? Sneakers. 80s or 90s? 80s. Keanu Reeves or Brad Pitt? Keanu. He's a freak, you can tell. <laughs> He's probably a chaser too. <laughs> um, millennial pink or literally black? Literally black. Yeah. Long form or short form? Mm, ask my editor. <laughs> uh, hard or soft? Soft. Lace or leather? Leather. Natasha Leone or Chloe Sedini? Natasha. And filter or no filter? No filter. Jim or not? Jim. Wow. Yeah, That's within great. reason. I, I try to go. <laughs> within reason. I try to yeah. go a couple times a week. Yeah. Um, last but not least, floral or woodsy. My name's Rose. I know, that's really too obvious. It's a little, but you know, <laughs> roses grow in the woods. I'm know, actually, is... I'm gonna go woodsy. I like the woods. We're manifesting a celebration. We're tranifesting. Yeah, a tranifesting a celebration. Tell me about your ideal pride float. What does your pride float look like? Um, my ideal pride float is very, it's like full Renaissance fair. But like not Game of Thrones, I'm thinking more like Baroque, but it's like mixed in with elements of nature and technology. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I want the full <laughs> fantasy. So wait, how does it roll? Like, is it rolling? Is it on wheels? There are horses drawing it. Oh my God. But the horses are union. What's the soundtrack? Disco. It's a Baroque disco pulled by horses. A Baroque techno, nature, nature disco. disco, fantasy. Thank you so much, I love this. Wonderful, thank you, bye. I'm taking this with me.